Hello, welcome back to another What Sold and Rock With Me video. Um, this I'm just doing over weekend sales. I am a full-time reseller. My name is Michelle and I sell on eBay and Poshmark. You could find a link to my closets in the description or um, if you want to Google MC Wear for you right here. Anyways, I'm going to just start right off. I have eight sales, which is very normal. Uh, sales have been incredibly slow for the past week week to two actually to be honest and I've sent so many offers um, really good offers and so I have eight sales but they only equal I think it was like 158 160 um, after fees and profit so anyways I'm just going to show you what sold so and then just kind of talk and wrap through it so the first thing that I sold is this Avia and that is a Walmart brand, a Via bra in a size 42 double D. It is like new and it's underwire and severely padded. And so that sold on Posh. And let's see, that sold for $20. And I paid $2 for each of my, um, I'm gonna give them some, give her some stickers. I got these cute little My Melody and like little twin stars and um, Hello Kitty and a bunch of, a bunch of um, a bunch of stickers over the weekend that I bought and that is going to Marilyn. The next thing I sold were two pairs of earrings. I sell jewelry on Poshmark and it's buy one get one free and these earrings um, someone bundled two pairs for fifteen dollars and um, and I sold them buy one get one free little navy blue and just some hoops and fifteen dollars for both and so after fees i profited twelve dollars because i buy them for pennies basically and that's how i ship them and i'm going to i am out of priority mailboxes so i'm going to use a padded envelope and if you fold it like that uh, the earrings aren't aren't um breakable but I do like to use boxes so if you fold it like that it's got lots of pot in there and that's going to Massachusetts all right so next was an eBay sale and uh, I originally bought these for myself they're just some leather gap slides size 11 and um, I am no longer a size 11 I'm a size 10 so I'm selling those and I don't remember how much I paid for them, but I did wear them. So I sold them for 15 and these are going uh, uh, to sell that they sold on eBay. Get my words out, it's late. It is too late for me to be talking. Um, I sold them on eBay and that goes ground shipping. And so what I do is I put them in a priority mail envelope and then I put them in a regular envelope, which I have, th these envelopes are really good. Um, just a plain solid PVC envelope and that link is in, in the description. I get them off Amazon for cheap. Okay, so next I sold this beautiful dress. I'm going to show you this dress and I'm pretty sure I have a video already of this dress. I'm not sure if it's up yet. Um, it's by B-I-L-A, Billa, and it retails for, it retailed for $68. It's an XL. And it's just a handkerchief hem, full blue maxi, okay? And I guess I could tell the story again. I was sourcing just a few days ago and a lady came out of the dressing room and she saw me looking at dresses, you know, not knowing that I was a reseller. So she didn't like the way this dress looked on her and she said it would look great on me and I had to have it. So <sighs> I bought it. And it sold very quickly, my dad. And let's see. So I got some stickers in there. Okay. And that is going, um, that sold on Poshmark. Okay. And so I need to find a envelope for it. So I'm going to stick it over here. I'm going to make this too long of a video. All right. Next, did I say that I sold that dress? I sold that dress for 
$35. I took an offer. I had it for $39. I sold it for $35. Um, and after fees, $28. Okay. Speaking of, $35 sale. After fees, $28. And they are these. Oh, uh, let's see. Here we go. MG 2X. They are a very generous 2X. And they are severely bell bottom. Bell bottom frayed 2X MG. People really like MG. So if you are a reseller and MG is usually not priced up, I mean, don't pay priced up for it because it is just bread and butter. But um, people do really like MG. Look at that. I just ripped it. Whew ripped it in two. Um, people love MG, so I still pick it up if it's not priced up, and it usually isn't. And if you do bin shopping, then all the more. Little Twin Stars and my Melody stickers in there, and I'm going to have to put some adhesive on the side because it's ripped, and I do not want to waste waste my shipping supplies because that all comes out of your own pocket. Okay. All right. And I already said that sold for 35, profit of 28. Okay. 35 must be the, the it number. So I sold these true religion, vintage, low rise, size 27 waist. And they are a size 27. And I really hope she is happy going to Indiana because every now and again you get someone new and they probably Googled what they were looking for, bought second hand because it was a posher, um, what is it? It was a, I don't know what I'm saying, a posher guess. That's what I'm saying. It was a posher guess. And let me give her some stickers. Um, every now and again you will get someone, those are so cute. You will get somebody that purchases something and then as soon as they purchase it, they ask a bunch of questions like more measurements or um, are you sure uh, that it's, you know, you said it was like new. Are you sure it's like new? And then um, that's called buyer's remorse. And you got to be really careful with that because um, I used to just let people cancel, like buy it and then, you know, second guess um, and then just cancel it. And if you let people do that, they will. Um, if they have time to think about it. And I know that sounds just crazy mean, like let them cancel, but then that dings your account, so you cannot have that. So if you do find that you have an increase of people doing that to you, you can stop that from happening by providing your home. Soon as they purchase an item from your closet, and I'm talking about Poshmark, but you could also, this works for eBay as well. Soon as I get a sale and I am at home, I'm printing out that label and mark shit because they cannot cancel it then, or they can't request you to cancel it if it's already been marked as shit. So that is just a little note. You know, we, this is a business, you know, and so you do have to take your business seriously. Okay. All right. So I went back and forth with this lady with these little uh, leather Steven, um, they kind of have like the studs, like um, they give another brand, but now I'm not thinking about it, Valentino. So these, I went back and forth with her. Um, I've had them for about three months and of course she's still gonna get stickers, but she originally offered me, um, I think $15 it was. And after fees, I would get nothing, you know, practically nothing because I pay $6 for shoes. So, um, I counted her 25 and she then counted me 20. I really wanted 25 because of the posh 20% fees. So I count counted her 25 and she declined. So when that happens, and that does happen quite a lot, actually, when that happens, what I usually do is then I message them private message. You could message your buyer and just simply explain, because unless you're a reseller, you don't always know, you, re you really don't know. If I wasn't a reseller, I probably wouldn't know that Poshmark is taking 20% commission as eBay and all other platforms. You know, they all have their commission. They have to make money too, right? And so I send a note when someone declines your offer, I send a note and I just write, sorry, 
that I didn't accept your offer. I would have loved to have been able to have some more wiggle room and go lower, but Poshmark does take a 20% commission and my apologies to you, you know, just sincere, you know, sincerely tell the truth. And I'm going to say maybe eight out of 10 times that person then says, okay, offer me whatever your last offer was, offer it to me again and I'll accept. And that is what happened with those shoes. And that happens I can't tell you how many times that happens. So don't lose a sale, but keep in mind that this is your business. And, and if you are a full-time reseller, you have a certain quota that you want to make each week or each month, uh, each day. And it's nothing, it's not rude for you to kindly send, you know, so-and-so a message, whatever platform you are selling. So um, that being said, I do use Posture VA. And that kind of makes it seem like you're online 24 seven because I have Posture VA running 24 seven on my laptop open. And that will send people offers if they like your item. But nobody, nobody knows I have a virtual assistant. So a lot of times people start asking questions or they'll counter what Posture VA, um, you know, sent of offer. Um, and Posture VA is, is, is just the way to go. You definitely want to do actually, I will link that in the description as well. Um, Posture VA, I think I have a, if you, if you tap on the link, you'll get a free month. Yeah, you'll get a three months. I got, a, I got a free month when I used somebody else's like that. Anyway, so if you are a reseller and you want to not be always a slave to a computer sending out offers, Posture VA, um, I think it's like $25 a month. That's how much I pay with um, tax. I think it's like 26, 27. Um, and you're not a slave driver to your computer that you could just set your Poshmark up to send 10, 20, 30, whatever you type in after they like it. And that's like after five minutes, 10 minutes or 30 minutes. I don't usually do five minutes. Five minutes is the least amount. And then I think the longest is like an hour. You want to give people a chance to maybe bundle and make a cart and, and shop your store. So if they see after five minutes and they liked five or six different things, they're going to wonder and get suspicious of how come you keep on saying all offers, individual offers, because they could put things in a cart in a bundle and pay one shipping fee. And that benefits you as the seller because that's one package you have to wrap of a bunch of things. And that um, helps the buyer because the buyer only has to pay one shipping fee regardless of how much they buy, which is awesome, okay? Okay, enough of that. The last thing is going to Florida. And again, $15, I sold two pairs of earrings. There were 15 each. I sent, or, um, I sent an offer, because buy one, get one free of my jewelry. And she then paid $7.50 a pair of these Earthbound style boho earrings. They're like ceramic earrings and hammered metal earrings. And what I do is I put some stickers, I put some Easter grass, and just to make it look special. I mean, you know, who just wants to open an envelope and have these thrown in there in the old way? So I try to make it special. I try to presentation. I have these and I also use, these are really cute little gift bags. You can get them at Walmart, you can get them anywhere. Little gift bags for whatever season we're in. And I fold it, I source these. And you put a thank you sticker. And that is $12 profit. So there we go. I think that is it for my weekend sales. That was eight sales. Got to tie up some loose ends here. And um, yeah, so sorry that was so chitty chatty, but it's the end of the end of a long day. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and have a nice day. Bye-bye.